What's going on guys? This boy phased again. With Colonel Yun and my dude Mello on the camera. Today we shall do the Tech iFit kit. I've had this for since December and I haven't done a formal test yet. I have used it in games many many times now and it's, I like it a lot. Uh, right now this is the setup. X7 Phenom, Deadly Winds Null, 12 inches, autococker threads of course, Tech iFit, uh, iSwitch autococker um, thread adapter. In here is the stainless steel vortex, the Tech squishy paddles, the Tech lightning rod, and a Lapco Uniflow piston housing. Um, oh, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I mentioned the Bad Karma bolt. I have the Bad uh -huh. Karma bolt in here with the New Designs version 2 spring. And um, what I plan on doing is taking 20 shots with just the regular uh, Deadly Wind null barrel and then I'm going to throw a freaking iFit insert on there and give it another go and then I shall test this right here the Furious Lotus or you know with the iFit back I call it the Furious Fit and uh, test that Alright man, you got that chrono? Yep, let's do this Oh, uh, I guess Clearing shots Ready? Ready. Hmm? 295, 280-286, 272-284, 285-284, 290-278, 275-284, 281-271, 275, 282, 274, 275, 277. How many is that so far? Just do another like three. Two, 278, 270, and 272. Alright, safety on. <coughs> Let's see. It's legit. <laughs> I guess so. We will be using autococker back and let's see what size can I select. 282. Hopefully it's not underboring too much. Hopefully I won't get, you know, bell breaks. But um we'll see. We'll see how it does. Shots. All right, let's give it a try. Get those numbers. Ready? Yep. 283, 285, 279, 277, 278, 280, 274, 281, 274, 285, 280, 277, 287, 280, 278, 284, 281. 277, 276, 285, 269, 277, 282, 274, 279, 280, 265, 281, 275, 261, 281, 275, 274, I say that. Right. And 272. Well, <laughs> safety. Safety's on. With the uh, freaking tech I fit back, consistency did jump. It's, it's, I think the FPS stayed the same, but consistency yeah. did stay. Uh, <laughs> the freaking, yeah, basically, that's... Much better. Um, yeah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> FPS did stay the same for the most part, but consistency freaking did really, really well. Now, time to put the Deadly Wind Null away. Use the Furious Fit. <laughs> this seems to be uh, what everybody's asking questions about. So, uh, time to do a formal test on it. I've had the pleasure of using this in the actual game with my uh, Empire Tracer and my Phenom. It's the most accurate system I've ever used, but I have gripes with it. I have gripes with it, so, but, uh, let's see how well it does. With the Furious, uh, with the Furious Lotus back and, uh, I mean the freaking iFit back and the Furious Lotus front, it comes out to about 12 inches. 
the null with the eye fit back comes out to about 14 inches. So uh, let's see how it goes. Not that much paint left. All right, get that corner out. It's good. Yep. You got the numbers. Yep. 279. 277. 265. 282. 276. 282. 277. 281. 278. 284. 277. 279. 272. 272. 274. 266. 277. 279. 270. 274. 274. 272. 272. 271. 271. 272. 277. 268. That's it. Well, the iFit does make things crazy consistent as you just saw. I like it a lot. I'm going to keep my iFit. Um, I guess, uh, anything to say about it? Shot lower FPS, just like the other tests. Oh, uh, what, the Furious? Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, this Furious Lotus, oh uh, no, my freaking, it's stuck. Oh. Uh-oh. Do you have the extraction Yeah, I brought, tool? I brought the extraction tool. Awesome. Unfortunately, <laughs> my uh, Phenom Shroud is on there permanently. <laughs> so when my iFit back gets stuck in there, you see the, <laughs> it's stuck in there. Uh, it sort of, uh, sort of sucks trying to take it out. Um, so it happens. <laughs> Luckily, I have this right here. That's what happens when you want to be a baller. Yeah, that is what happens when you want to be a baller. This right here is a tool for uh, eye fit back extraction when you have a shroud. See, my gas is off. All right. Gas is off and purged. Oh, got to get this out. So this is basically what you do. Put this in, in there. And then you turn it. Oh, I'm turning it the wrong way. <laughs> Basically, you turn it until it catches on, and then it unthreads. There we go. It is not coming out. Oh God, no. <laughs> it's not coming out. Are you serious? I mean, it'll come out. It's just, it's gonna take time. Screw it. <clears throat> Let's just talk about it. <laughs> well, <laughs> the Furious Lotus, uh, it just shoots lower FPS. Um, I think the reason why is that the Furious Lotus front is about a, what is it, a 693 bore? You know what I'm saying? This whole piece is 693 all the way out. Well, this one is a good um, 688. 688 all the way around. So I guess it leaves less space for air to escape around after it. So um, people always used to freaking, people were sad that they couldn't use the deadly winds anymore with freaking, uh, with the phenoms, you know what I'm saying? But this seems to be a better, uh, a better combination right here. Using, Detect I fit with the deadly wind null instead of the deadly wind fiber, and uh, it just seems to, to be a, a better system in general. You know what I'm saying? No more freak inserts. The freaking these inserts right here, it eases into the bore as you can see, it ramps in there. It's really nice. I love it. Um, never play a game without it. You know what I mean? I guess uh, that's it. Any, any closing statements? That's it? That's it. Your thing is stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. I'm going to have to get it out. All right, then, guys. Peace be with you all.